I hope you liked that video, Where's the Monkey? I thought it's a great way to teach position words, okay? So um, position words tell us where something is. It's, answer, it's an answer to that question, where? Where is, where is something? And that's a good one, where's the monkey? The monkey was a lot of different places. So, um, so we can ask ourselves if something's, um, this is called um, position words, and we're gonna circle a picture if it shows a position word and name the position shown in the picture, okay? So for instance, in this first picture here, wh what is the person doing? The person is going up. So the position that we're talking about is up. Is the dog doing anything right there? No, there's no movement showing. So they'll either be, and I'll show you how they show that in illustration. So we can cross that out. The dog isn't showing any movement. So that's part of the position too. So then where's the woman going who's on the stairs? You can see the arrow, she's going down. Down is a position word, okay? So you can usually act out position words, which is what the monkey did for us, okay? So is the cat doing anything? The cat is not doing anything, so we're gonna cross out the cat, okay? Now, how about the, the mouse? Is the mouse any type of position? I heard some of you say it. The mouse is under the mushroom. Under is a position word. Okay, and then this, you can see with the little lines, the mouse is jumping over the mushroom now. So that's a position. Okay, then when you look down here, there's a picture of an ox, is the ox in a position, no, it's not doing anything. But if you look here, you have the four children and you have an arrow pointing to this boy right here. Do you notice that he is first in line first? First is a position, right? First is a position. You can definitely see where someone's first. And then again, this the, you have the four students again, the arrow's pointing right there. And what position is he in? He is last. We all know about first and last in line, right? Okay, so we're almost done, but we're not quite done with this booklet. We just need to do a little bit of um, blending here, and we did that in phonics today too. So you start at the end of the arrow and you move over. So that's kind of like a position. You go that, you move that way. Okay, so uh, n, on, n, a, d, nod, k, a, p, cap. So the first one um, we get to trace, but it shows that the book is on the table, on. So you're gonna go ahead and then trace this word on. Make sure you trace the word. It helps you form your letters better. Tracing always does. Okay, then number two. You can see the movement there, the little movement lines. The girl, she she, she is nodding her head, or we call that a nod. n a d nod. So let's write that and use your sounds as you write. n a Duh. So make sure when you write your D, your diaper, your round diaper comes first, then the stick, okay? The last one, if you look at the picture here, it is a k -a cap, okay? So you're going to write that out, k -a cap, okay? Good job blending your sounds today. Myself an exit ticket up here. Now, this is going to go into your go back folder to Miss Cludie. Um, let me grab mine back here. I actually need to get mine emptied out too. Mine's getting very full. Okay, so go ahead and put this in the green folder. Make sure your name is on the front. Okay, I don't, I want to make sure I give you credit when I get that back. So I'm going to put that in my green folder and then get ready for our next lesson in our language arts folder.